Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to check the palindrome string using the Java. So first of all, what is palindrome? Palindrome is like if you reverse the input and whatever you are going to get output, if both are same, that is called palindrome. That means if I'm having an input value as a string like radar, double quotes, that means string. So if you reverse, that means we have to get the value from the backward. So first of all, R, then A, then D, then A, then R, right? So see here, this is the input and this is the output. Both are same, that is called palindrome. But suppose if I'm having input like A, B, C, and if you reverse this one, what will be happen? C, B, A, you can see, right? Both are not equal, so that means it is not palindrome. So if you want to understand how to reverse, I have already created a video, please check in the description. But suppose you have not watched that video. So no problem. Again, I'm going to explain same approach. So what we have to do, see, we have to always reverse the string. So reverse means what? We have to start from the last one. That means we have to start from the last index. That means we have to get this value, then this value, then this value. So definitely we have to use the loop. So I'm going to use the for loop for this program. So for loop will be there. So for loop will always take the first index as the starting point. So our starting means what? From what point we have to start? So definitely we have to start from the last one. So if you see this string, what will be the length you thought like? So you can see first, second, third. That means the length is three. But in Java, the index position always start from what? Zero, one, two, correct? So we can declare like here input equal to currently you can give ABC or you can take radar also no problem. So I have to start always like I equal to you can declare IJ whatever you want to declare is just take name only. So what we can do input dot length. So length is what I'm currently taking ABC only. So input length is what one, two, three. So if you put here three, correct, I'm just going with three only. So now we have to go till what? So we have to go till zero index, correct? So we can say like I is greater than or equal to zero, correct? Now what you can see from three to zero, that means we are going what? Three to one, that means it is a decrement sequence. So we can say like I minus minus, correct? So a string having a predefined function that is called character at. Character at. Here you have to just pass your index only. So what we can do here? Input dot character at. So first time what will be happen if I pass three. Okay. So I just say in the Java, the index portion is starting from zero. So take this one, zero, one, two. There is no three. So if you put this one, what will be happen? You will get an exception that is called a string out of bound exception. So that means what? We have to see here 0, 1, 2, correct? So we have to always take the length less than 1 only. That means you can see the length is 3, right? But index person is what? 0, 1, 2. That means 3 minus 1. So now what we can say like i will be always 2, correct? For this input. So first time what will be happen? The index person will come 2. So 0, 1, 2. What will be happen? We will get the value as a c. So once we got the C, that means we have to store this value with some variable. So what we can do, just give here one new string, just declare like output. At first time, it will be only empty. So this variable is going to hold the value of reverse string. So we can say like our formula will be like what? Output equal to output plus this input dot character at. So first time what we we'll get the value as a C. So now output will be happen what C. So now you can see it is a minus. So that means now I value is one. So this value input dot character at one. What will be happen zero and one. So you will get here what output plus C. So output is already having C value. Correct. And this C currently I'm referring this formula. Okay. First time you got C only right. So please do not confuse. So now what will happen? C and now you got B. 
correct so when you got the value as a b now the i value will become zero so character at zero that means a only so you will get like output plus input dot character at zero so you will get the value as a now you got output and we have already input now we just need to check in if and else condition if both are same just print it is a palindrome otherwise just say like it is not palindrome so let's start the code so you just saw right first time i use three then i say like the index is like we have to take from the two so please do not confuse i'm going to show the java code then you understand much more why i talk about a string out of bound exception so first of all we need a string input value so i'm going to declare a string and you can declare any variable name so i'm just going to take as an input I'll start with A B C. Then we need to get the output. It will be string. First time it will be empty only. Now we need to create a for loop. So for loop we have to start like int i. So i is a one variable that is a type of int. So what we can do here? Just use input dot length. So now we have to go till what? till greater than or equal to 0 so we can say like i will be greater than equal to 0 and it will be in what decrement order okay so first of all you have to understand input dot length what it will gives to you so just use system dot out print then copy this line and say like input length now run this program you can see here input length is 3 right a b c 3 character correct now just come here and print system dot out dot print ln and i'm going to print the value of i so we can say like i colon i value now run this one you can see first time we got 3 correct input dot length is currently 3 only then i minus minus is there that means once this line will be finished again it's come to this one again 4 so you can see 3 then 2 then 1 then 0 correct so i am going to use input dot character at so at same place i am going to change i as a input dot character at and here i am going to pass the i value now run this one just see this exception first time you got this output correct that means it's run till this line after that for loop started and it is showing like exception in thread main correct that means main method having some exception what is exception a string index out of range right here at first time it is going and searching the index 3 if you see here a is index 0 b is index 1 c is index 2 correct there is no third index in this input that's why we got this error correct so that's why i told you we have to always use minus 1 now if you run this program you can see here c b a right we are getting perfectly c b a but in different line now we need to get in the same line c b a so for now you can see i have declared output as a empty now i am going to use this logic output equal to output plus input dot character at i so just comment this line and use here output equal to output plus input dot character at i now i can say here reverse output that means what will be the output we are going to get now run this one you can say right we are getting reverse output as a cba now what we have to do this output we need to check is like both are equal or not so now what you can do just come here and use if condition if input dot equals and give here output if both are equal that means 
we can say it is a palindrome so just give your any output statement a string is palindrome so suppose if it's not palindrome then what we have to use else condition and say like a string is not palindrome and put this statement in the double bracket otherwise you will get exception now save it and run it you can see a string is not palindrome because we have input as what a b c output as c b a both are not equal actually now change r a d a r run this one you can see a string is palindrome because our input was red r r a d a r correct output you can see here this line reverse output correct we have printed at this line output is red r both are equal input and output both are equal that's why it is palindrome so this is a way to check a string is palindrome or not using the for loop in next video i am going to show same program but using the string buffer